Hello, and the gentleman gamer here, and today we're playing Eve Online, and we're going back into the abyss. I haven't uh, uh, been doing this very often. I'm not sure why. Um, the uh, the uh, the time frame that you can run these abyss sites in is pretty much perfect for some days where I don't have time for a you know an exploration run or something. Uh, so I, I don't know why I haven't done it. So I'm trying to get back into the rhythm of it, and I'm going to do uh, uh, some uh, frigate ones. So I uh, fitted up a Punisher, because on this character I don't want to, you know, have my main give it money. <laughs> I want to kind of build up on its own. So I uh, I have a Punisher. It's pretty pretty inexpensive fit. I think I have uh, T2 armor reps. I got some uh, compact heat sinks, kind of cheap uh, T2 damage control, because that's more of a some of these wrecking shots <laughs> in these uh, in these uh, in these uh, rooms can be a little rough. Uh, we got a uh, enduring for the cap uh, afterburner one. We got small cap battery, and we got some small focus pulse twos up in the highs. I went with beams the first time, then I ran into a a uh, a drone battleship, and that took way too long to kill with beams. So I <laughs> I switched off of that. Got a little too nervous, um, and then in the rigs we got. Uh, um, Nano pumps make these a little better, and I got a uh, uh, engine housing to make go. The punisher's kind of slow, so I, this helps with the the base speed. Because I'm just kind of stick with the afterburner, uh, so I can keep it on and kind of sig tank some of the room. So that's the fit I've been working on. It seems to work so far. I've been doing electricals. I haven't delved into the other ones, but I might try that sooner or later. But let's jump in. We're going to. I gotta wait. Gotta form a fleet myself. So I'm gonna solo these. So, okay, feet. Got the fleet going up. Now let's go into here and activate. Now I did notice that they did. Um, they did change the warp tunnel for this. They actually uh, updated it, which is cool. So let's take the gate. All right, let's jump in. And it's really cool. It kind of looks like the old one, but if it feels like more unstable. <laughs> you hear like the the, the the booms. All right. Oh, right off the bat, we have a uh, we got a overmind, which is troublesome. We're not in range yet, though. I'm going to try to avoid... Uh, I know at some point I went after these little extra ones, but they don't seem to drop that much, so I'm not sure if it's worth it. I'm going to take out this first. Okay, let's take this out. Are they in range yet? Yeah, they are. Take these small ones out first. Get the loot quickly. Orbit... Uh, and just orbit the uh, the battleship, dude. Come on. Okay, two mil. All right. Okay, let's go by. I think we're gonna have to get closer because I don't think they're gonna move too far away from that battleship. It seems. I have scorched put in for for these guys just because. Okay. They seem to be orbiting them. That's kind of weird. Usually they come after me. Let's put one of these reppers on preemptively. Yeah, why are they orbiting him? That's kind of weird. Let's see. Are they protecting him? Is that what's going on here? Is that the thing they do? Alright, well, they're, gonna, they're going down pretty quick, so... No, it causes too much damage. All right, now I'm gonna switch to con flag. I only use it for this guy. And it's, it's still gonna take a while, probably, even with con flag. Cause let's see, let's see how much DPS we're doing here. We should be fine for a little bit. Two hundred and and three. I can overheat it, maybe just for the video. I make sure I don't burn my guns out and lose this ship because it'll be unfortunate. But then we got what? Looking at 
234. It's not a huge increase. So we're going to manage that, but he is going down a lot quicker than the beams, that's for sure. All right. Let's keep an eye on heat here. 16%. <laughs> I should leave some heat for later. Maybe let's get around to another one, right? Let's turn it off. All right, it's up thirty percent. Okay, we can uh, overheat a little bit again uh, if we need to. Okay, let's see. What was this? Deviant Automata Suppressor. That would have helped, but they were actually orbiting this guy. I never saw that behavior before. I'm not sure. I haven't done it in a while, though. So it really could be a. Uh, just been changed over time and I haven't done them. But usually they, they they chase you. But they were they were orbiting this guy like they're protecting him. Which I guess makes sense, because you don't want he can't track and get too close, but they still can. So if you're unprepared, uh, you you're gonna get a, a, a whole ton of DPS and <laughs> you're gonna die. Uh, especially if you're like in a badly fit uh, T1 frigate or something. But he's going down a lot quicker than before. I can probably turn this off. I'm not even taking shield damage anymore. Take a look at the scene here. That's pretty neat looking too. I know CCP uh, announced on uh, social media today that they're, uh, they're updating the shaders again. Which would be cool to take a, uh, to actually take a look at the abyss in it too. But I'll have this video as a little bit of a record before, <laughs> before it comes out. Because it's pretty, pretty neat. Uh, in general, the abyss looks cool. I haven't done any of the um, what, T5s or anything in a long time, so I'm going to take a look at those. They probably look the coolest. So let's take a look at this guy. Oh, not that. That's cool. That's a lot of information. I didn't think they had that much information on them. Uh, area denial. Okay, yeah. That's, that's pretty much what I expected it. But this guy I was more curious about. So let's see. Shields, obviously. As high as this actually is EM. That's probably why I was having so much trouble before in his armor. Uh, structures are across the Actually, explosives is probably the best, but you can't really switch. I guess, I w as a goal, I gave myself a goal, and I was thinking about um, what ship I'd want. I try to solo these when I get enough money. And I'm thinking maybe a vengeance, because you can switch damage types. Because um, the MR, when you have the laser, you're kind of stuck with the EM and thermal. Be cool if you can just have EM for the shield that switch missiles to explosive to take out his armor and kind of leave it on for um, kind of leave it on for um, you know I guess whenever you don't change it again because th this would save you a bunch of time run them that a little bit faster and the vengeance does have three high slots too so you I think about dual propping it putting a micro warp drive and an afterburner. So using the afterburner for stuff like this, like orbiting, trying to sig tank them, and maybe get the after uh, the white warp drive to get some of these and add a little bit extra money to it, maybe. And we got him. That's definitely faster. Let's jump in the next room. Let's switch to scorch again. Oh, I can't switch yet. Okay, let's see what we got in this room. Uh, ooh, now keep going. Keep this guy far away. So we're gonna keep this guy because he gets too close. He's gonna, he's gonna hit us right in the face and hurt a lot. Let's do that. We have scorch on already, so we gotta make sure we keep him at range because if he gets too close, he does quite a bit of damage. Let's actually just start repping <laughs> a little bit because he uh, he surprises surprises me quite a bit how much damage he puts out. Now this is where the beams shine compared to the scorch. Scorch gives you about 14 at most, but I can go a lot farther with the um, uh, with the beams. Let's see how fast he goes. He's going 742, so I can still outrun him. So dictating range won't be hard. If he starts speeding up, though, it might give us a little bit of trouble. But so far he's 750. So long. Well, oof. We're still technically in range. <laughs> oh, I died. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, he alphaed me. Oh well. Man, I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful. Alright, well. Uh, that's one problem with, with using uh, uh, Scorch. It's. If you. Well, if I go out to the max, it'd be 14. I'd probably have it even. Maybe have some other ammo that goes a little farther, but that has pretty good range, so I don't know. 
Uh, all right. Well, we failed this time. Um, I do have. I have. How much money have I got? So I'm still okay. I can still buy another one. That's why I didn't buy. I didn't buy a Vengeance automatically. Because I didn't want to uh, bottom out the amount of money this character had. Uh, so I will buy another one. And maybe next video we'll try again. Maybe try Beams again? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, beams uh, cut it close, though. I don't know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you learn from mistakes like this. And since the, ex the, the hole wasn't very expensive, it's a little easier to walk away from it. So... Um, so it's it's okay, you know. It's ammo, so keep that in mind. You lose stuff, you learn, and uh, you kind of just rebuild. So next one, I, I might try Punisher again. Um, I was maybe trying to experiment with some other ships. I have more experience with Punisher, so I maybe <laughs> maybe I'm leaning on it too much. But usually the Punisher works well, except for situations where he just gets a wrecking shot on you. I was I think it was a wrecking shot. I wasn't paying attention. It, it seemed like it uh, it hit pretty hard. So. <laughs> Um, but, uh, but thanks for watching guys. Um, uh, next video, we'll probably do it again. So thank, uh, if you liked the video, of course, leave a, a like, if you like the content, of course, subscribe and fly safe and fly brave.